Hey guys, and welcome to Fear of the Walking Dead. Just kidding. Just, just my fear of the Walking Dead that is <laughs> this Netflix series, Death Note. Yes. So I reviewed the first trailer for the Netflix Death Note series, and I really wanted to avoid coming back to it until the movie was out. But it looks like that's not going to happen because the second trailer is already released and just yesterday they released a first clip from the Death Note movie. And I am incredibly torn. So for one, I would love to hear your guys' opinions. So just comment down below. Tell me what you think, any facts that you know about. I've researched a lot, but I, I don't know. I'm still like up in the air about this movie. I don't know if I'm going to hate it, if I'm not. Maybe I'm judging it too quickly from the trailers, but they've already released a clip now, so now there's more to expect. <laughs> I've only watched the trailer like three times, um, not really super in depth or anything. I just, I'm trying really hard to keep an open mind about this series because everything that's throwing at me wants, everything that's been thrown at, uh, thrown at me and thrown at all of us about the series, like all just the news and stuff. There's so much that's making me initially think that I'm just gonna hate this movie and I really don't want to. So I'm like, I'm looking for everything in order to like this, in order to like the characters, the casting, everything. And these are my thoughts so far. Um, I might have said this in review one, I never actually rewatched my first review yet, uh, but William Defoe as Ryuk. That by far is my favorite choice, the best choice of this so far. And especially now that I've seen the first movie clip of it, um, the clip is when Ryuk first meets Light Yagami. Light Turner. I forgot it's Light Turner. <laughs> no. <laughs> Netflix, come on. Oh, okay, yeah. No, that's fine. A nice change. A nice. Uh, trying to make it more Americanized, a nice liked Turner, even though Turner is a British last name. We'll just, you know, just ignore that, just ignore that. But William Defoe, uh, in the clip, especially now that we get to see kind of what Ryuk looks like now, which is very cool. I like that they're going with a more scary approach. It does look like William Defoe is putting in a lot of effort for this, like, Ryuk which I'm really happy about and I'm really excited. One of like the best things that I think that's cool about this series that they change like completely 180 is that instead of just being like this European white man, L is now a black man and I don't know where he's from or anything like that. That's very cool. Uh, and when I first heard about it, I was super excited, but then like seeing the trailer, I just really hope that this guy is he's uh in he's been in a few other movies that i watched and he looks like a really good actor but it might be the script it it might just be like how they're changing it but i don't know if he's going to be the same l i don't know if he's going to well he's not going to be the same l but i mean uh just play the character as l i feel like one thing that I'm really worried about is that I'm not gonna think of this new character as L. It's just gonna be like a disconnect and I'm gonna think of him more as like just some other detective that he's just I feel like they're gonna like take away all of his qualities that were really good and really interesting about the series which is bad especially because he's like the second main character here. Uh, Light is so far he just seems like every teenage character that Netflix is putting out. Um, he reminds me a bit of, um, oh. <laughs> he reminds me of the guy from 13 Reasons Why. He reminds me a bit of um, Archie from Riverdale. Like just every Netflix series that's coming out, the like high school guy, they're all blending together for me, which is what I'm worried about. I don't mind his look. I know that the, his look is like made a lot, of, he's like getting made fun of because it's like kind of like bleached hair and stuff, but I, I don't mind it as much. I don't mind that he is a white actor and not a Asian. Uh, 
Mainly, one, because uh, Light, while he's supposed to be Asian in the manga and the anime, he definitely looks like the whitest character there. <laughs> so that I actually don't mind. Um, I also don't mind that they just really want to choose this actor instead. Um, I don't think whitewashing is the biggest issue here for why this is getting like so much negativity right now. Uh, there's a lot more to be negative about. One, um, <laughs> this is the first thing that like caught me and bugged me when I saw the second trailer was um, the old ancient Japanese or whatever depictions of Shinigami and they just had, I'm gonna have a picture of it, but they just had this like cartoony looking Ryuk. It didn't look good. It, it looked cartoony basically and um that just i it, i thought it was very silly because uh they could have used like something with the art from the manga that would have been a cool add-in um or you know just actually look at japanese photos of shinigami i get that they were trying to make it ryuk so that we would all recognize that ryuk is a shinigami but i think everything else is gonna tell us ryuk is a shinigami the wings, the death note, everything else is gonna tell us. We don't need the stupid cartoony looking picture as our introduction to Shinigami. So far we haven't seen much of uh, Mia Su Sutton, Sutan, I don't know, Mia, uh, who is supposed to be Misa Mane. The names, <laughs> the name change, I don't like it either. But um, she looks, from the second trailer, she looks like she's gonna be more of an influence for Light rather than Light being the influence for her. Which I think in this movie, the fact that it's only just like a two hour movie or something, I don't know the runtime, um, I think that that's fine. I think that that's a good change for her. I, I'm not, well, I don't know if it's a good change for her, but it is a change for her that I think is good for a shortening from a series to a movie because you're not gonna have as much time as they did with Light and Misa to really like know what their kind of power dynamic is. So if she's a bit more influencing, that's fine. Same with Ryuk. Um, from the first Death Note clip of them meeting, it looks like Ryuk's influencing Light a lot more. Um, this also happened in the Japanese TV drama where Ryuk was more of an influencer to Light rather than Light becoming mostly evil on his own and getting his own ideas. It kind of seems like it's being influenced by the Shinigami, which is fine. It's like a little thing that kind of bugs me, but like in this, the fact that this is only going to be a shorter series, short, like a movie time, that's fine. So some of these changes I understand because it's going to be a movie. Um, what has been shown in both the first and the second trailer that uh, I don't know about is the uh, Ferris wheel. There's like this giant Ferris wheel and then they're t it's tipping over and they're hanging off. And honestly, it not only just reminds me of something like Final Destination or Zombieland, just kind of like this weird climax to the movie. I don't know what's going to happen. It's clearly like something's got to knock the whole thing over. I don't know. But right now, everything's reminding me of 13 Reasons Why. It's just kind of like that vibe, the high school vibe, everything, the bullying, all that. I'm excited to see something new and what I like as well is that so for the trailers and everything they're not giving us much which is good for this because the series is already getting so much hate because they're it's everyone's saying it's all whitewashed now that like um, these characters aren't good fits blah, 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 they're changing everything but they they haven't changed as much as it would have been before. A few years ago, if that Death Note movie, that Americanized Death Note movie was coming to vision, it would be a lot, a lot different. So I am keeping my hopes up. What about you guys? Yes, I'm gonna leave that there because I could rant for another like 20 minutes and I'm really trying hard not to. And I want to wait because I think that there might be one other thing released or if there's a couple more clips I might make one more video of it and especially when the movie comes out I I feel like I now have a duty to review it and I am excited to do so. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and hit the like button if you like the video and if you 
are excited or tentative about the Death Note movie, what do you think? I am a huge, huge diehard fan of Death Note, so it's so hard. I'm just like, I, every time I see something of Death Note release, like mo news or like clips or anything, I'm, I'm already just like, like breaking my hand. I'm holding it so tight. So yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video and subscribe if you dare. Bye-bye guys.